Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for a new episode of A Girl's Reflections. So today I'm here to talk about hate and how we can, you can deal with this. So this will be really quick. I just want to deliver this message. So... Um, we live in a time where I just think like it's so easy to criticize and humiliate people, especially on social media, and and wish passing day you can see, you know, and like I just realized that haters just gain more ground and you know and especially because very often i i see someone just living especially and i now i'm talking more specifically specifically about social media you know and it's so common you know and i always see someone living mean comments you know and I've seen cases of people just receiving these comments, you know, and they were so mean that it actually came to a point that these people were told, you know, to even kill themselves. You know, I mean, you can see how big of a problem this is. And and this is not normal, you know? And... uh Whenever I think about this, I mean, it deeply revolts me, you know, because how did we get to the point where hating, you know, and putting others down is normalized, you know? And I often ask myself about this, you know, I think about this, I reflect on this, you know, and... um and I think I will never understand what these people have in their heads, you know, in their minds. And I think I will never understand why hatred is increasing more and more in our society. And till the day I die, I will not find an answer, you know, because, I mean, they are such rotten people, you know, with such bad characters. And, and that's sad that we are living surrounded by those people that we are living in this reality but one thing about hate and one thing that i like i i mean it's something that i always say and always think about this it's like and especially i think this message is more for i mean it's for everyone but especially for those who just spread around hate like if you don't like someone like just walk away you know even if it's on social media like if you don't like what that person posts on social media or i mean it doesn't matter like if you don't just don't like that person just don't watch it you know just don't be with that person you know like if you don't like what the person does or posts like why do you follow them you know, like, why you consume that content? You know, like, because we are not obligated to like anyone, just as no one is obligated to like us, you know, to like you. But one thing that you have to understand, because this will happen in, our, in all your life, just because this happens, it's still, you know, there's one thing that is certain there must be respect you may not like that person they may not like you back but you have to respect each other even if you don't like and the saddest part is that many haters do this because like they are unhappy you know with their own lives you know or you know they are not satisfied and instead of just looking inward and trying to understand why they feel so bad they would 
rather try to bring others down, you know, the ones who are happy or successful. So I just want you to understand and to think about this. Like, if you ever feel jealous or if you feel angry at someone, you know, who has something or has achieved something that you want to have, first look inside yourself, you know. Take that anger, you know, or envy and transform it into something that helps you evolve, you know. Use it like an inspiration to motivate yourself. Think like, why do I feel this way? You know, what do I want And what can I do to achieve the same as that person? Because we have always been taught that these feelings, you know, are negative. You know, that they are bad. And we just end up, end up, you know, condemning ourselves because of it. But don't forget, like, these feelings, like, they are often seen as negative. But they can teach you a lot about yourself, you know, and a lot about life. So they just show you that you can achieve it too, you know, that they show you something that you really want and that maybe you are deceiving yourself, you know, and don't realize it. You don't want to face reality, you know, and the thing is that hunger and heavy can be transformed in something positive and instead of destroying other people's happiness just use these emotions as motivation you know just use them to you know just turn them into something positive that will eventually help you you know and again if you feel envious of someone Just ask yourself why you want what they have. You know, just ask yourself why you're feeling like that. You know, what that person has or in what place that person is. You know, which situation makes you feel like that. And even, but even so, people like, they don't even want to achieve their goals. They just prefer to stay at the rock bottom, you know, and just follow like the easy way out, you know, just criticizing. Like, because without a doubt, the big challenge here is to use this energy, you know, to grow and overcome yourself. Like, or do you think it's better or do you think that it's better to bring others down, you know, to rock bottom just because if you are not happy with your life or anything else, like, other people can be either. Like, please, you know, just let's change it, you know. And now I also, I also want to talk about other thing, you know, just not just about hate comments, but in a situation that also I think it happens with a lot of people um, and that, situ that situation is the one where other people just start to try to get in your life you know and just try to tell you what to do or you shouldn't do and that you should become this or be or act like this you know and uh and in general you know about this and about the eight i just want you to know that you are the main character in your life and you are the one who writes your story who makes the decisions Or decides what you want and how you want to live. So never let others guide you because only you have like the power to decide your path. And I know that often like negative comments or you know any type of comments that may just get in your mind and 
even, you know, make you sometimes doubt on yourself and doubt that you are capable of doing something. And sometimes these comments come from people that are actually close to us and we, people that are close to us and that are sometimes from family. And in that case, it's even more, you know, sad and painful to hear this from, you know, from loved ones. But, um, and of course, like when you hear that comment and think like, but aren't they supposed, you know, to want the best for me? Or like, aren't they supposed to want me to be happy, you know? But like, aren't they supposed to want me, you know, to have a life that is even better than theirs? But like, they are leading me to sabotage myself or give up on what I want to be, on my dreams, on becoming a better version of myself. But, like, the truth is they may be older people sometimes with more, like, life experience. And that's why, because of this reason, they may think that they have a right, you know, just to tell you that and to tell you what to do. But just because they they know more doesn't mean they know better what's best for you. Because, like, they're experiences are d- different from yours and you have like the right to live your own path according to your dreams and ambitions you know so don't let yourself be trapped by their beliefs or fears because it's your life yes you can be grateful you know for what they have done for you but remember like the choices are yours their experiences don't have to be yours and just because something didn't go well for them just because they couldn't accomplish something doesn't mean you won't be able to do it either because it's not a standard it's not like a law you know so just because someone failed doesn't mean that everyone who tries you know to do the same will fail and after all remember like we like even if a situation didn't like happen as expected like you never lose okay like you have to get this in your mind like in life we never lose okay we either win or we learn a lesson so it all comes down to how we receive and see things so like the power is in you okay so and just to conclude like Basically, I I just want you to know that haters will always exist. There will always be those who try to bring you down, but like no one has the power to stop you unless you let them. Like the key here is simple, you know, know yourself, believe in yourself and just stay focused on your goals. When you know who you are and what you want, there is no criticism that can bring you down. And it's better to start like believing in yourself, to think of a life for yourself, because like knowing that there will be always haters and people to get in your way and sabotage you, you have to be very aware of these things, you know, and you have to be like very sure of yourself and know who you are and you have to be very sure of what defines you and how far you can go. No one will have any power to stop you if you do this, if you are conscious about this. So it doesn't matter what others say, because at the end of the day, you are the one in control of your life. The power is in you. And the more secure you feel in who you are, the more invulnerable you will be to those comments. You know, because that deep down, like, say more about them than about you. And it's your life, it's your decisions, and your success is in your hands. So no matter who tries to be, make you doubt it, you are the main character in your story. So don't let anyone write your script for you. And that's all for today. Thank you for just taking your time to hear this new episode. And I hope that in some way, even if it's just 1%, you feel a little little more motivated or, you know, just comforted. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. 
like the video, in this case, the episode. And see you in the next episode. Bye.